Hey guys, Robbie here from CFSB Nutrition at CrossFit South Bend. Today we are going to talk about the difference between the weight of a food in grams and the amount of macros that food contains in it, like its protein, carbs, and fat in grams. So this is a very, 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 very common question I get uh, from people where, you know, they're just, they're getting their numbers all wrong because they're equating the weight of the food that they get on the scale with the amount of macros in it. So let's, let's clear this up. So I think the easiest way for me to explain this is with uh, some examples. So let's, let's just dive right in. Let's talk about protein. So for protein, um, all of the different examples I have listed here are all eight ounces by weight, which is just the exact same thing as 227 grams uh, by weight, just a different way of measuring it. It's just a different unit system, but those two are the exact same thing. But as you can see already, the amount of protein in each varies and the amount of fat in each varies. So the weight of the food does not equal the amount of protein in the food and or the amount of fat in the food. So let's just take some examples. So 8515 ground beef. If you have an eight ounce servings of the serving of this, that's gonna be 42 grams of protein and 32 grams of fat. Um, ground pork, you know, it all depends on the ground pork. Is it leaner, is it fattier? But just this particular one that I looked up in my fitness pal, 40 grams of protein, 36 grams of fat. Costco salmon, that's gonna be about 45 grams of protein and roughly 30 grams uh, of fat. Now, an important point to make before we hop over to chicken breast is that as you can see, pretty much any form of animal protein that you're gonna get when you're counting your macros is not just gonna be protein, but it's also gonna be a decent amount of fat. So when calculating your macros, it's not just going to be um, the fats that you get from oils, but also the fat that you get from the uh, animal protein that you may or may not be having as part of your way of eating. And then chicken breast. Chicken breast is one of the few examples where you're just not gonna have that much fat, barely any at all. 52 grams of protein and three grams of fat. So again, as you can see, the weight of the food is the same for all of these. It's the exact same, but the amount of protein and fat differs. So the weight is not the same as the protein and the fat in it. So generally speaking, uh, there are about 45 gram, 40 to 50 grams of protein per eight ounce serving uh, of animal protein, which is about 227 grams. Uh, the fat is going to vary. Now, what about carbs? Uh, starchy carbs, for example. Now you could apply this to fruit, you can apply this to non-starchy carbs, um, but you know starchy carbs are really gonna be the main place that you're gonna apply this if you're using uh, weighing and measuring to do your macros. So with a white potato, um, well, first of all, uh, I should say again, these carbs are all, again, eight ounces or 227 grams. It's all the exact same size serving, and yet you can see that the carbs and the fiber vary. So a white potato, is 48 grams of carbs and five grams of fiber. A sweet potato has fewer carbs and slightly more fiber. White rice has 48 grams of carbs and two grams of fiber. And then butternut squash has 27 grams of carbs and then four grams of fiber. So again, the weight of the food is not the same as the amount of carbs or fiber in the food. You know, if you put eight ounces or 227 grams of a potato on a scale and you thought that was 227 grams of carbs, uh, things would be uh, significantly messed up in terms of your macro calculation. So uh, the nice part today is that technologically, you can use MyFitnessPal or other apps and they'll just do the conversion for you. You just enter what you see on the scale and it will do the conversion for you into these things. I didn't have to look these up in an almanac or flip through pages, um, it just does it right there in the app. So that's one of the really cool things. So generally speaking, with higher carb, starchy carb foods, uh, if you have an eight ounce serving, it's gonna be about 40 to 50 grams of carbs and lower fiber, about four to five grams of carbs. Whereas a vegetable, for example, would be very low carb, like spring mix is almost nothing and has more uh, fiber. So it's just the opposite. All right guys, now, so hopefully now you've got a good sense of the difference between the weight in grams of a food and the macro amount, protein, carbs, and fat uh, in grams of that food. And hopefully now you can see that there's a difference and hopefully that helps you weigh and measure your food. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.